I'm seriously just waking up. It's around 9.15. I am actually going to go ahead and have to get up um, to go ahead and just start getting ready because I do have an appointment at 11.30. And normally if I get up any later than this, I'm late. So... I am so lucky that my body even woke me up at this time because I was up until around 5.45 um, editing a video last night or this morning. Knocked out without even intentionally knocking out. I was still trying to stay awake. Phone died overnight so I didn't have an alarm. So I could have very easily woken up at, I mean, shit two o'clock in the afternoon because i went to bed so early i had contemplated just staying up the whole night trying to knock that video out but it was physically impossible for me and what sucks is that i was supposed to post the video today i feel like i physically could not finish it in time so i'm gonna have to push that back to tomorrow but rightfully so So how have you guys been doing? How'd you sleep last night? How's your day going? I'm surprised I'm even functioning right now. Seriously, I mean, I got less than four hours of sleep. Yeah, that's not gonna be the case tonight. So I'm gonna make sure I get this video done earlier in the day. I was so close to being done. The rough cut took the longest. Not too long though. For it to be a 55 minute long video at the moment, it did not take me long to get through that. I was working on the final cut and my ass knocked out. I tried so hard to stay up. That is not healthy, guys. Please tell me to go to sleep. So I have a nail appointment at 11.30, which I'm very excited about. I just got my nails taken off. That wasn't yesterday. But the day before so i normally don't go long too long without nails i'll take breaks occasionally but it's not one of those days it's not that time so i don't think i washed my one glass mason jar i'm gonna use this glass cup and then wash it while i'm making the coffee this batter is about to die let me get another batter Okay, so I'm back in bed, and you may be like, Azzy, why are you back in bed? And then I never explained why I got back in bed. Basically, long story short, first of all, I thought I had a nail appointment this day. Turns out it was my toe appointment booked for this day, and I would got them mixed around. So that was supposed to be at 11.30, if I'm not mistaken, but she ended up pushing it back to 3, which was just enough timing for me to go ahead and finish my video so I could still upload it that day. Also, if she wouldn't have texted me about my toe appointment, my ass would have drove... 35 minutes away to my nail appointment thinking I had a nail appointment that day and I didn't so it was a really good thing that she pushed it back or I would have been fucked. Number one I deserve it because I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm concerningly not tired uh, like I feel good. I don't need my phone charger because I didn't charge my phone overnight either. So I am back in bed because we're gonna go ahead and get this video done. I'm gonna knock this out. This just shows I was meant to post this video today because if my appointment was at 11, I would not have had time, but we're here. I'm so excited because I haven't had a day to just lay in bed and not do shit, but edit. But this is, you know, it's enjoyable, especially after you get past the rough cut. You get to do all the fun stuff like sound effects, filters, transitions, background music. That's the fun part that makes the video your own. I'm going to go ahead and get this done, knock it out, and we could just go ahead and continue on with our day afterwards. But this is a, like my main priority right now. And since I got the time, we're going to go ahead and get this done this morning. And I'm so excited because I'm so ready to post. All right, so update, it is 1.52 and I just completely finished the video. I've seriously not gotten up once. I've just been sitting here editing the video since I last talked to you guys because I really wanted to make sure that I had this video done. So it's around two and I have to save the video as a file and then I have to upload it. So realistically, I can say right now it's probably not gonna go up at exactly four. We'll just see because at this point it's out of my control how fast it's it's going to do what it needs to do but at least the video is done I'm really proud of myself because yesterday I was only 13 minutes in to the rough cut and now the video is completely done and it's 58 minutes long I am starting to get hungry again so I'm gonna go ahead and get up and find something to eat I do need to go grocery shopping too we're gonna make sure we get that done at some point in this video either probably not today maybe possibly today but realistically that would happen 
we'll see. Um, I have things I'm doing both today and tomorrow. So we'll just kind of see, you know, when that would work best. Why is it still at 1%? He's been with me this whole time. Blame with me the whole time. Um, see, you can't be taking that long. You know what? I'm gonna close this and restart my laptop just to see if that could possibly kind of just refresh my laptop and make it work a little bit faster. I mean, it's working just fine, but since the project is so long, it is going to take longer to do what it needs to do. I'm pretty used to that though because all my videos are normally pretty lengthy. The shortest video I'll do is maybe 30 minutes, but that's a good, I feel like that's a good length though, but it's kind of like the minimum for me. So I've most definitely been in my own world all morning because it's, two o'clock. My appointment for me to get my toes done is at least 35 minutes away. So I'm gonna need to just brush my teeth, grab a little something before I leave and dip. I gotta wrap my teeth this morning, yeah. I need to go back. What the hell did I spill toothpaste on my chest? I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Like I will see the time. I can see it, but it doesn't hit me. Like girl, you need to leave until last minute. Time management skills. One of my flaws, for sure. That's a pee. It's two when all I've done is lay in bed all day. I did get my video done though. I want to shower later. I wanted to shower this morning, but I didn't really have the time. So I'll do that at some point when I get back. We'll talk in the car. I'm just playing catch up right now. Good thing my hair's done. Or that would have been hot oh, mess. <laughs> Be crying because my slick bag doesn't want to act right. I could literally wear. Let me just put pants on. I don't know. Mmm, shit, it's 90 degrees. What the fuck? Oh, my God. This is new information, man. I need to get out more. 90? I'm gonna do is lay my edges. I mean, that's all I have to do. Okay, let me make sure my elbows are ashy. I want a different tank top because I literally slept in this one. I don't know where my slides are. I just wear my Crocs. Okay, let's go. Look, all you have to say is that it's 90 degrees out for Okay, so if you guys follow my spam account, you would know that, or maybe, I don't know, but if you keep up with me on Instagram, that would be the only way you would know that I went to Florida because I didn't post any content about it on YouTube, and there's a reason for that actually this time. You know, normally we go with the excuse that, you know, I'm on vacation and I just wanted to be in the moment, and that's true, but I feel like it's still possible to get content. It just depends on your intentions of the trip like you could totally you know maybe sometimes i just want to go somewhere and don't even want to bring my camera but this time around i actually did have the intentions on filming because i had never really done it in florida before i had tried once or twice failed miserably or i just didn't get nearly enough footage to make a video out of it so this time around i brought my camera i brought both my cameras actually my laptop everything that i would need to potentially edit there as well and i would film here and there i never filmed enough to have enough footage for just a vlog that consisted of one day alone. I was kind of just picking up footage from different days and I was gonna put it all together. It wouldn't have made the most sense, but it would have been a fun travel type of video. So this was my first time I'd gotten a decent amount of footage while on vacation and I lost my camera on the trip. I have no idea where it went. I was filming with my G7X, much easier to vlog with than the M50. I never even really, yeah, I never even brought the M50 out. I can't even film in public with a G7X. What makes me think I'm going to be bold in public with the M50? So I remember the last time I had it. Clearly, I know where I had it and where I had thought I left it. It was just nowhere to be found. We checked the last three places that we were when I vividly remember having my camera and it was nowhere to be found. I don't understand how shit just disappears like that, but it was so upsetting because I have some good footage. I mean, it wasn't the best, but it was definitely, you know, worth making a video out of. So 
that fell through when I lost my camera. I wasn't too upset about it though because it's not like I got some crazy groundbreaking footage, but it would have been nice to have and to have my camera still. But I did end up ordering another one before I came back to North Carolina. But I actually went on Amazon and instead of buying a brand new one, I bought a refurbished one. Read the reviews, they were good, it had like 4.5 stars, and I was getting it for $200 less, which I felt was definitely necessary, especially considering I just bought another G7X about a month or two ago. And by the time I got back, it had delivered within the first day or two of me being back in North Carolina. And it's perfect. I'm filming with it right now. There was absolutely no flaws, no fingerprints, no scratches, no nothing. It came with the camera, the loop that you can attach to the camera so you can hold it around your wrist, the battery charger, the Canon battery, perfect condition. So if you guys have ever, you know, looked into getting the G7X or have thought about it, I definitely recommend you guys checking on Amazon for a refurbished one first because it's literally the same thing. I'm having deja vu right now. Really weird. You know whenever you have deja vu and you just kind of wait for it to stop? Like, I don't mind it, but it's fading off now. It's so... It's crazy how that shit works, but yeah, I don't know why. This morning, I was confused between my nail appointment and my toe appointment because I had ended up having to reschedule my nail appointment, but I forgot that that was scheduled. That's scheduled for tomorrow, Tuesday, rather than today. So I'm on my way to my nail appointment now for my toes. I just got into acrylic toes again, so I'm going to be going for a fill on my toes. I have full acrylic, but instead of me getting a brand new set because that's not needed, I'm just going to do a fill-in, and I have like a milky white on my toes right now, and I think I want to do or I know I want to do just straight up white gel on my toes on top of it I want them to be a little brighter and just look super bright and clean for the summer and then tomorrow when I get my nails done I already have my color picked out I actually didn't pick it out it was suggested to me and I had considered changing the color but I'm going to prove that girls can actually follow through with the color choice that you choose even though we'll ask and then end up getting the complete opposite I'm going to follow through it was suggested I get slime green which I don't mind doing at all I haven't had green on my nails in a minute so I'm excited and I already got them soaked off that was yesterday so we're all set and they've had you know given them a couple days to breathe before I get a new set which is good but I'm gonna go ahead and just continue to head that way we're about 20 minutes out not bad I'm gonna get there at 3 four so not bad just gonna listen to my music and i'll get back with you guys in a little bit okay so update i just got my toes done i got them in the bright white gel that i was telling you guys about earlier this is what they look like Okay, so we are on the way, just going back towards the house now. It says I'm going to get home at 5. So this day has gone by so quickly. I definitely want to eat. I'm thinking possibly tropical smoothie. I definitely don't have time to go grocery shopping today because I have plans around 8. Yeah, like grocery shopping will take like an hour in itself. Cleaning out the fridge and making sure. Like I would want to clean out the fridge first, I feel like, so I can see what I have and what I'm working with before I just go to the grocery store and guess like I normally do. And then I have even more of the item that I already had and I end up wasting food and it just goes bad, which is not good. So that'll definitely be something we get done tomorrow. I have an appointment in the morning but it'll be way earlier than this three o'clock appointment so we'll be able to get that done. i would love to get some sort of snacks though we'll see you guys should get ready with me though i don't have to do my hair so i would just be doing my makeup and you guys do ask me how i do my makeup or for like an updated makeup routine so i could go ahead and show you guys how i've been doing my makeup as of recently while we're at it yeah, i think i want to go to tropical smoothie though i'm not feeling chick-fil-a i haven't been feeling it like that because i'm definitely the type of person once i find something that i like it doesn't even have to just be food no matter what it is i just i'll keep eating it i'll keep listening to it and i have no problem with it but whenever it comes to food there is a point where i get sick of it yeah i mean shit if somebody said we should go to chick-fil-a we're gonna go to chick-fil-a but i'm not feeling that right now but tropical smoothie i'm always feeling so i'm gonna go to one on the way home and just bring some food back to the house so i was going to go and sit my happy ass in the tropical smoothie parking lot to eat lunch but i'm actually just gonna order food from uber eats to my place because that's gonna save me so much time um i still have a video that's going up today that i had exporting as a file before i left as i told you guys earlier but i didn't have time to upload it because i had to leave so it makes no sense for me to sit my ass in a parking lot for another 30 minutes to an hour when i could be uploading my video and just have food delivered straight to my door so that's what we're gonna do instead i'm probably 
literally gonna order the food before I even get home so I don't have too long of a wait by the time I get there but I also just want to straighten up my place and that will all just be easier if I give myself the time of day to do so instead of doing the most as I always do okay so I am just getting back home and my food is actually oh Simi posted a video on that my food actually is gonna be here. It should be here now because they said 517 and it's 517 now So if I have food delivered through anywhere online, I'll basically get a call from the concierge downstairs And they will ask if it's okay for them to come up and I always pick the leave at the door option I don't know why I mean unless you're a super outgoing person I don't know why you'd want to have a convo when they're just dropping off your food. So yeah, that's perfect timing Say hi. I'm so excited to eat definitely waited a little longer than I would prefer, but at least it will be here in a couple minutes Okay, shit. Let me upload my video So it should have yeah, it saved as like a file so now I go to Google Chrome and I open a YouTube tab Oh, I'm not logged in from here. Yeah, no, I just got Google Chrome on this laptop But I'm just gonna use Safari because I'm already logged in and I'm going to upload this video Which should not take too long. I already have the thumbnail too, which is good. Okay. Okay, it's uploading now So I finally got my food and I felt so bad because the person that was delivering my order Why is the butter in the sink? They're having a hard time finding the building which can happen sometimes I mean, it's never happened through Uber Eats before, but I mean, even whenever I came to tour this place for the first time, we had trouble finding the building because it's kind of tucked away. So, the food came. First of all, I got a strawberry banana smoothie. It's a little watery now, probably because it's around, it's like 90 degrees outside. Mmm, I like this one. I've never had it, but it's really good. I also like to get their so three cheese chicken quesadilla. Oh, and the drink, the smoothie is called Jetty Punch. That doesn't sound like a smoothie. Maybe it is supposed to be a little more watery. I don't know, but I'm gonna drink it regardless, but I get the quesadilla. And I also get the, or today I got the buffalo chicken wrap. I've got this a couple other times and I really like it. And then I also got a banana. It just hit me how there's not one meal I've had in this house that I've sat down to eat. Because there's not really a place to put bar stools. I mean, you guys see where my couch is? Even without that there, this countertop in general, there's really only enough space to either fit one bar stool or two that are super slim to the point where it wouldn't even be comfortable for two people to sit there. I'm so used to standing up eating at this point. I don't know what I'm gonna do. My mom had suggested I get like a table, like a really thin table with two chairs to put right there, which I could see. I feel like I could see that before I can see two bar stools right there. I'm pretty sure your body digests your food better when you're standing up anyway. That's my excuse for being unfurnished. Okay, so it is 6.30 and the last time that plans were talked about with like the plans I have later, it was eight. The plan was to hang out at eight. Let me get to cleaning like I said I was gonna do. Um, first of all, I saw this post. There's a dryer sheet on the floor. I saw this post. No, someone DM'd it to me on Instagram. First of all, look at this bathroom. I feel like I haven't even officially moved in yet because we haven't done a 2021 deep apartment clean out. I'm just... Like, if I'm gonna do one of those, I wanna wait for my place to get musty because I don't wanna film me cleaning what already looks like a clean space. It's not nearly as enjoyable to watch. But also, like, if I have people come over, I don't wanna wait for my place to get musty because I don't like people coming over when my place is musty. So that'll be interesting. But I do have clothes in the dryer. All these are dirty. That shit about to just get thrown back in the fucking laundry basket. This is what I like to call another problem for another day. Um, that's pretty much it for the bathroom. Done it. All I really had planned to do was sweep them up. And by sweep, I don't even really sweep anymore. I like to use the vacuum. Ever since I got a vacuum, it's so much easier to keep my floors clean, especially having cats. Yeah, it's really just the cats, like cat food, cat hair. But my floors don't really get dirty, dirty, and I don't let people walk around in my place with shoes on, so it doesn't get too bad. Maybe I should wash the dishes. I'll let shit sit out. This has been sitting out since like 9.30 this morning. That's probably why my shit goes bad, so quick. I know I have things that are rotting in here. This could just be organized, and I'm out of breath. No. We don't need to talk about it. Definitely want to go through this. I've had things in here that have probably have been in there since I moved in. So we're going to want to do something about that. Let me just. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should go ahead and wash the dishes.
Hey guys, good morning. So it is 11:20. I um, went to bed around 2:30, which sadly, like, I feel so much better um, even going to bed at 2:30 opposed to 5 30 but it's better it's progress normally if i want to actually take the initiative to fix my sleep schedule i'll just gradually go to bed earlier every night so if i went to bed at 2 30 last night i'll try for like 2 15 following and then you know maybe one and just go from there but yeah it was crazy i woke up i set an alarm for i think 8 15 or so and i definitely woke up to it took my ass right back to bed i hate how i don't even intentionally do that but it's like i subconsciously just I'm not aware enough when I am half asleep to just stay up when I turn off my alarm, it's so bad. Oh. But I am feeling better today. I had a nail appointment this morning, but I had just checked my DMs, which first of all, I never answer. Like, I'll answer you guys, but whenever it comes to an appointment that requires a timely response, normally if we exchange numbers, it's just better. If, you know, we're gonna have to communicate and I don't think we had each other's number, so I didn't see it. If, you know, my number isn't texted, I'm probably not gonna like respond i mean i respond to my dms but not like that like if you expect a timely response i feel like we should have each other's number so she had dm me and just asked if i was still coming today and she asked me two different times and i never responded so then today she texted me and said that she's canceling my appointment because she's gonna take her car to the mechanic and let me know another day i want to come i'm so glad i checked my email because like one of the first emails i saw was that my appointment was canceled and i know i didn't do it so that's when i checked my dms i don't know i'm gonna go to somebody else just because i mean i normally switch them around every couple months anyway or i'll stick to one person but you know tamia um i haven't gone to her in a bit because one she just gets booked which is great but then also she is moving to charlotte soon and i'm too and a half hours away from there so i've just been kind of you know keeping my options open and trying out new people because there's so many different i mean nail techs hairstylists everything in the area so i just dm this other girl i found on the explore page which is always how i find them and um, i'm asking when she has availability because you have to dm to book an appointment we'll see i would love to get my nails done tomorrow it just feels so weird to not have them like i just want my nails back i'm sorry the footage kind of cut short and really randomly yesterday i was rushing i straightened up to the point where like it looks it looks good i just didn't get to mop so i could do that today if i'm feeling it i don't even know if i'm gonna do that the floors aren't dirty i mostly just mop i mean one to clean the floors but also because it makes my place smell good like pine saw fabuloso whatever i'm using yeah i wasn't even mad that my nail appointment was canceled though because i literally woke up at 10 57 and my appointment's at 11 30. So now we can at least wake up, eat breakfast. You know what? I have blueberry pancake mix that I've had for the longest time, months, that I completely forgot about. So I'm actually gonna make that and maybe we'll make like an actual breakfast breakfast today. Cause I have fruit too that I need to eat or it's gonna rot in my fridge and you guys know that. But I know I didn't get to show you guys my makeup routine yesterday. So I'm going to get ready with you guys today and show you guys how I've been doing that. Wash your cat's dishes, wash your dog's dishes. Look at these texts. Like, this is how we be texting. My friends, long ass texts. Ooh, my fingernails are sensitive to nail beds from getting nails, so hot water is like really hot. <laughs> this is the mix that I got. Wait, no, not this one. I have this one too that I got to make waffles actually this quick, but I got these. This is. Krusty's protein pancake mix, blueberry. I wanna make these. I just posted a hygiene routine and you guys have already taught me so much and different products to try out. And you guys were saying that apparently whenever you apply your perfume, if you rub it in, you're removing the top notes because I remember one time somebody told me that perfume has three different notes, I think, like top notes, something else, and then base notes, something like that. So I guess whenever you rub it in, it removes those top notes, which contributes to the scent. Oh my gosh, I was filming a video the other day, but I had just stopped filming it because it just wasn't the day to film. I had went to ooh, I had went to bed so late, woke up so late. But something that made my day that day was there's a girl that I know that lives in this apartment complex. She was like a mutual friend, but now we're actually creating like our own friendship, which I really like. She's so nice and she had like randomly invited me to go over to her place because she was making breakfast and she had just asked if I wanted to come over to eat breakfast. I literally that made my day. It was so nice and the food was fucking fire she made french toast seasoned potatoes eggs bacon like my ass could literally never or somewhat but she's just really good at cooking 
So that was so nice and it made my day. I did end up staying there because one of her other friends that I also know came over as well and we were sitting there talking until 3.30 in the afternoon. And by then it's like, I, it's already midday. I haven't done anything. I like, I, I can't really film from that. And then I feel like I tried filming the day before. Yeah, I tried filming the day before that as well, before my new G7X came in. So I was trying to use the M50, but of course it wanted to give me a hard time the one time I tried to use it. I plugged in my mic like I always do and it wasn't picking up on my voice like no audio whatsoever I moved the cords around like plugged the opposite side of the cord into the camera I tried everything that I would normally do which normally isn't a hassle whatsoever and it wasn't even picking up my voice so I was sitting there talking for 20 minutes no sound it sucked and then i was getting my hair done that day so i had left and i was gonna just film with the camera with no mic which i really didn't want to do because the audio sucks on the camera without a mic especially after filming a couple videos without the mic and now having one it's a huge difference but i was gonna do it because i didn't want to give up but no oh yeah as soon as i left the house on my way to my nail appointment the g7x had got delivered to my place so definitely a first world problem but it just wasn't good timing and then my hair appointment ended up taking way longer than I expected six hours it's not what I have now it was a different style so then by the time I left it was six o'clock and that was like my first plan of the day so at that point the day was already over and yeah so that's how my last couple of vlog experiences have been so I made the mix thicker so my pancakes will be hopefully fluffy and thick I want to make turkey bacon and also eggs I can make eggs in this little pan they really don't take up that much space oh why am I putting butter in a I'm making bacon. Wegmans has officially become my favorite grocery store. If you've never been to a Wegmans, oh my god. The whole time that I lived in Raleigh, the first time that I moved, when I was in that area and I used to go to a Starbucks across the street from one all the time, I had heard of it, but I never went out of my way to go because I was like, you know, it's just a grocery store. No. Literally the best grocery shopping experience ever. It's like a mixture of Whole Foods, but nowhere near as expensive. Trader Joe's and Lowe's. That's what it gives me. Okay, so I am about to hop in the shower because it's about time for me to start heading towards Karen. But I did want to rinse off first. Thankfully, I don't have to do my hair since my hair is done. But I am going to want to do my makeup because we wanted to take pictures today. So I'm not going to take all day because we plan to hang out around 2.15 and it's 1.24. Yeah, in that case, I can film me doing my makeup, but I don't have time to do a walkthrough of it. As far as like a makeup makeup tutorial, I could definitely see myself doing that on my second channel. I've had some people ask like, where is the video on the second channel? Oh, girl, I can barely keep up with my first. But that channel was never, it was such a pulled out of the ass, impulsive decision, but I still like it. I love the idea of having a spam, but my main channel is definitely first priority. So I haven't been priori prioritizing that channel as much, but I can, I'll definitely post on there again. I promise it's not gonna go, I mean I did desert it, but it's not gonna stay deserted. I'm gonna hop in the shower. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, I moisturized with this. I'm really out here acting like I got all the time in the world. But should just be disappearing. The Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. This is what it looks like. It's a super, just very sweet coconut scent, but it's not overpowering. It smells so good. And then for perfume, I'm wearing the Glossier. You perfume and I sprayed it on my skin and my clothes the few that I'm wearing and I'm not rubbing it in so it can last longer I have this shirt shirt this is a bra I bought it at Urban Outfitters I'll be buying clothes and when I'm in the store I'll be feeling bold like you know it's summer I can wear this out and then I bring it home and I probably won't even leave the house with this on I think it's okay to leave the house with but I don't know first of all I feel like I could possibly accidentally pop a titty in the process I don't know bro like I feel like for me when I wear certain clothes it's kind of like a time and a place type of thing like if we were to go we we're going out I don't know where I would wear this actually if it wasn't you know just casually like I may potentially do today I don't 
don't know. We'll see. I'm just gonna leave it on for now because I don't feel like I got my money's worth out of the shirt. Because Urban Outfitters is not cheap. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I don't have a whole lot of time, but it's like Karen and I were in sync today because we had set like two different times for us to hang out. And then after the second time, she had texted me like I'm just starting on my face. I said, girl, same. At that point, I had literally just got out of the shower. So it's perfect timing. It's like if I don't wear this, I don't know what I'll wear. I don't want to wear just like a t-shirt. This is the type of shit. Like I wore a shirt like this similar on my Instagram. It's so weird because certain shirts or certain outfits, I'll be a little hesitant to wear them in public. Even though I like how I look in it, it's just different and showing a little more than I'm used to. But then I'll freely take pictures for Instagram in it and then just change out of it immediately when anyone can see that. The logic, it doesn't even exist. I couldn't even tell you. I'm feeling in my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Oh wait, no I don't. I used to use that. This is the Sigma Define Plus Pose Brow Pomade, I think. It's a lot less expensive and it does the same thing. The brow pomade you use, it really doesn't matter what brand it is. It's really the brush you're using that determines if your eyebrows are going to turn out good or not. As long as you find a good angled brush, you can really use any pomade and you'll be set. This is the Anastasia Brow Brush. It has the spoolie on one side, angled brush on the other. This is in number 12. And I've had this forever you'll clean it and it'll be brand new again so i use this brush with this pomade it works really well good combination i have this one little white purse that i got for you know i was gonna do the trying different aesthetics for a week video i'll see some of you guys ask about it like I still wouldn't mind doing it. It just is really out of my comfort zone. So I haven't, I haven't gone out of my way to like get it done ASAP. And I wasn't having the best luck when ordering outfits. It just wasn't going exactly as planned. But if you guys would still be interested in seeing that, I could still do it. It just wasn't a first priority for me. I kind of put the idea out there. And you guys held me accountable as you should. I just never, never filmed it. I do still have clothes I could wear for that video though. But not for every outfit. Like some things I ordered and they ended up not being what I thought they were going to be whatsoever. Which kind to put things to a whole like i was in the process of ordering things for the video and that's as far as i got i wish i had my speaker music does not hit without bass at all in my very first car i had when i was 17 i literally had two 12s in my honda civic like license plate rattling and everything i've always been extra but that was od if i were to ever get subs again i would get one probably a 10. 12s babe two of them i didn't really understand the power of them until they were in my car and literally rattled the whole thing and took over every song like you couldn't even hear the song at that point no nah, subs be hitting though not all the time though because normally you hear subs and it's like we, we hear you but no nah, sometimes they be hitting it depends it's so funny because i can see both sides i can see how it hits and then also like uh, really <laughs> like, i don't know i'm trying to look at it from different perspectives These are pretty much the only ones I wear. I feel like if I wear something different at this point, you'll be able to tell. Because this is normally what my lashes look like when they're on. Best lash glue to exist. Duo lash glue. The brush on adhesive version. I need to order more. I'm almost out. If you order from Tati Lashes, they literally come in less than two days, if not the following day. It's crazy. Every single time. Hello! Okay, outfits. Love the magic set. Nice to see you. Hey guys! This shit, this rock gotta go. Um, 
This is just like a Himalayan salt rock. Right? That's cute. And yarn. It's cute. But hey guys, I'm here with Karen. We're back together. She has been picked up and we are going to go into Crabtree right now, which is a local mall, mall in um, our area. Uh, Y'all would be disappointed about that. I was doing my makeup this morning, or it was not the morning, it was like an hour ago, and um, I forgot to put setting spray on, and I've been wanting to pick up the all-nighter setting spray by Urban Decay again for a while, so that's gonna be my excuse to buy it in the mall today. Right. <laughs> Look at the These are so cute. They only have a size seven, so I'm gonna try it on. Uh, I took off the wrong shoe. They like Look, <laughs> where's my toe just? <laughs> yeah, you can see. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, literally the same thing. I love it. Definitely not going to allow myself to buy perfume today, but there's so many options. I don't know if I still have that here. Killian has bomb fragrances, but they're always sold out. Princess is like, oh my gosh. It's amazing. I think my mom has yeah, she has this one. It smells good. Yeah, I like that one. It's like a clean, fresh scent. Yeah. Like an everyday wear. This smells good. I wonder what's the difference between these two. They look the exact same, just yeah, a different bottle. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I want to find that setting spray, though. You guys, this is the setting spray that I was talking about. Long-lasting makeup setting spray. Or their all-nighter setting spray. I want to get this. It's definitely worth the price. It works really well. And this is the only thing I'm getting here because I did not come here to buy anything else. Yeah. There, you know I can look up for you? Yeah. Okay. There'll be... Thank you. You too. We're looking at the tank tops right now and they have so many just cute fitted tank top options which is really amazing. Yeah, the only thing I know when it comes to the outfits. summer. Yeah, or just outfits in general. As you just got her setting spray from Sephora. And they're like these skater pants. Probably from here? Yeah. yeah we're gonna try to find them. I hope they do have them because I need some more jeans that are. Look at these. Kinda wanna get, you can never go wrong with them. I like this one too. I really like which ones? I really like the yellow. Yeah, a bit more pale. I don't know if I like the flat. Yeah, of, I straight don't, across. It just looks like a bag. On me, it's, I don't it's know. It's giving shopping bag. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the Crocs. They are so cute. I like the blue ones too. But are they platform? No. These are just chunkier. I literally bought these and I was like, okay. Actually. You don't like them? <laughs> they are. Please, I think they only have the clear. They have the clear. I don't like the clear. I want the blue, but I don't think they have them. Do they? Have, are you seeing them? They don't even have them. Like they have the white, the black, but not the blue. Are those those right are the cutest ones. Rocks. What? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, those are really cute. We're in airy now. You have to try these though. I got different dogs. Candy. They normally have cute like little bra top type of or like tank tops, but they've definitely updated it. Hollister, I actually really like that top. I like that the little like. Mhm. Mm I could see you wearing that. You've worn something like that. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, I like that. I did. It's a new model. I wish I filmed that. <laughs> and then it would have fried. It would have fried. Literally. And now I have comments so they would play my ass. I just tried to use my cup as a tripod and my camera fell in it. So. She thought it was waterproof. But yeah. it is in fact not. Okay, liquid. Oh. oh. The way we both said that. I know. I'm waiting for my quesadilla. Mm. And you grab the plate. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the car now we went to go eat some food we met up with one of her friends for the first time well she was meeting her for the first time i don't know why i thought they had already met before 
but it was like a first for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so now we're actually gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store. I'm gonna do some grocery shopping for my place and there's some cookies that Trader Joe's has that she wants me to try. So we're gonna go get a little bit of shopping done there because it's just about time. I don't wanna go another day where I just don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for lunch when I could just get the three things that I don't mind having every single day and just call it a day. It just makes everything easier. We're gonna go there, do some shopping. Plus I hate going grocery shopping alone. It's so, it's awful. Yeah. It's really I awkward. I go to the store to get like some candy, I'm just like, no. Especially in Trader Joe's because it's a very small grocery store, so it's really- It makes me so, like when I went there for the first time, I literally had an anxiety It's overwhelming. It's so much going on. There is. And there's like three lines. Yeah, it's, Max. they could definitely expand, but like, it's okay. okay. Walmart. Like, yeah. Wegmans is where it's at though, and that's like right down the street. Yeah. Like, I don't mind going to Wegmans. Yeah. I prefer to go to Wegmans for grocery shopping. Yeah. What's about Wegmans? I don't know. I don't know. We can try some other songs. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we're at Wegmans. We are. Because we just um, got a BBL. So we are currently in Wegmans. This is kind of, um, or definitely a spontaneous grocery trip because I have no idea what we're going to do. I want to look for frozen turkey burgers. Yeah. I they have them here. I know they have them at Trader Joe's. Okay. You said you wanted to lock. Oh, yes, yeah. Y'all yeah. are in the grocery cart. When's the last time you guys were in a grocery cart? Literally when you're. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just kind of looking around. I don't have this grocery store down pat yet. For me, I only know one specific Walmart front to back and then Target front to back always. But it's definitely not going to find any food in the hygiene section. <laughs> I was just drawn here. Something. Yeah, but I don't need anything. There's no need to even look at the hair products because my hair is literally in green. I feel like this is just gonna be a bunch of like snacks. And yeah, I think it is. Probably need to go. Sorry. Excuse me, you're fine. Go to more in the back of the store. Wegmans has plants and they're very cute. Oh yeah, they have the ones in the bags over there or the bouquets down there. Those are so cute. The sunflowers, I haven't seen sunflowers in forever. I like plants like over here. Oh, we have aloe. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. But I would want to go to more of a plant nursery for my first plant. Kind of want to get salmon. Um, I don't see. Yeah, this probably isn't all the frozen seafood, but I kind of want salmon. Me either. You don't. I mean, this is like two pieces. Two individual, no. Family pack. Okay, so we've got, we've acquired some groceries. These are things that are actually going to fuel me throughout the day. I'll show you guys everything I got when we get back. We're in the, um, oh, they have my favorite. This is my favorite method body wash. I talked about it in my last video and they didn't have it at Target, but Wegmans literally has everything. Food, hygiene, everything. <laughs> That's how mine looks mine recently. So they don't even sell that deodorant at Target anymore. They don't? No, I know. What scent is this? I think it, oh, it's unsexy. Oh no, that would not do justice for me. Uh, but I really to get toothpaste. toothpaste? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I think I could use this as like a pillow mist. Okay. Organic spike lavender. Ew, I don't like that one as much. This one's it's the same. It's lavender still, but it's too sweet. Yeah, that makes me sick. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Like, I actually hated that. I wish my nose <laughs> my nose literally it. just fizzled off. This one's better. Yeah, it's a lot. I wish I could use Old Spice Yoda, it's so bad. It gives me like burn. I watched the video, I watched your video this morning actually. It was you really did? Good. Did I you watch it. the whole thing? Yeah, I it loved it. I know, that's why I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it while I was like, I think I was curling this hair. Oh and yeah. I was like watching, I was like, oh. Video on how I wash my ass crack to get right, the day yes. started. Okay, I used to buy this in like eighth grade and I would spray it on my hoodies. And I remember posting on Snapchat what I say, I don't need a boyfriend, I, do, I could just make my hoodies smell like some shit like that. It was oh so God. bad. When I, I was see so your, desperate. Like, it's certain stories from your past. I'm like, ooh, what assy is that? Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't be. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have wanted to. <laughs> but, okay, this smells good though. It does. You smell it? Mm -hmm. I want to buy it, but what would I use it for? Like, I wish I could buy my guy friends like scents, but they smell like hair. Yeah, exactly. But that's but even more of a reason. Yeah, but I'm like, like can I, I want to smell. You probably think you think that needs stink or something if you buy them. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, like I try to get everything to heart. Like, like so I, show, I showed. Um, uh, I said I really want this, but I would never use it. Yeah, I'm gonna get more exfoliating kind pads to clean behind my ears. 
Hi guys, we just got back from Wegmans. I have dishes in the sink from this morning. I was doing so good. I cooked breakfast. I was putting the food away as I was making it, but then I left all the dishes in the sink. It's fine. But I'm gonna give you a little grocery haul. We got some crunchy rice snacks and honey cinnamon. I haven't really fucked with rice cakes in a minute, but these looked good. We got some farm raised Atlantic frozen salmon. We got green grapes because they're 100 times better than purple if you disagree. I got some asparagus because I need to eat my vegetables. <laughs> like a mom. I know. I'm a mother. I got four packs of sesame seaweed snacks. I don't really like the teriyaki flavor, and that's the one that they didn't have. So I'm gonna try these. I got a can of corn, two cans of black beans because my friend made something. Um, they don't need a backstory. Like I got a ton of the beef chopsticks because they have nine grams of protein, so they're good for just on the go. The beef is my favorite flavor. I got four. I'm not gonna show all of them because they're all the same, but I got four of the Love Chicken Enchilada Bake Frozen Meals. They have 20 grams of protein, so this is super easy. You just throw in the microwave and eat for lunch. Because lunch is such an awkward meal for me, and I feel like a lot of other people too. Like breakfast. I feel like it's easy to come up with what to eat for breakfast because we have, you know, the basics. But then lunch, it's so random because, like, I don't want to eat a dry ass sandwich, but I don't want to spend, there's no reason to buy it. But then I don't want to go out and get it, but then I don't want to spend $20 for, on Uber Eats for it to get here. So it kind of sucks ass, but those are going to help me out. I got a crown of broccoli. I got sweet potatoes because these are a really easy way to just feel full throughout the day. I still didn't get my turkey burgers, but I can do that tomorrow. And then I got some hygiene products. I got some exfoliating cotton rounds because I like to use these to clean behind the back of my neck and my ears. I got some more Dove sensitive soap because I'm on my last bar. I got this Dove exfoliating body polish. This is in the pomegranate and shea butter. This smells so good. Karen and I were saying how it kind of smells like a Starburst. It really does. It does. It smells like the pink Starburst. Exactly what it smells like. I got some lavender Castile soap because I wanted more of a clarifying body wash. Just something that wasn't creamy because I feel like it gives me a deeper clean. And I've been told that Dove bars they're known as a beauty bar it's not really a soap like a wash it's just kind of moisturizing but castile soap will literally have you squeaky clean so i got some of that i got some more toothpaste which i did not need but i love almond hammer toothpaste this is the peroxy care deep clean version i just really like toothpaste with baking soda in it i feel like it gives me a really deep clean and then i got this relaxing lavender aroma therapy mist and it's not specifically a pillow mist but you can spritz it on your pillow Oh my gosh, it smells so good and I just love to sleep to the smell of lavender and then on that note I did also get some more lavender essential oil because it feels so wrong to go to bed without my diffuser Diffusing lavender oil. It can't be anything else I'm really weird with certain things like it has to be a certain way or I have to do this specific night routine It's just it's assy for you. But that's everything I got from the store. I know I definitely have some things rotting in my fridge, but I don't want to go through, I'm not going to go and organize all that right now. It's literally eight o'clock. Who organizes the fridge? No one. So I'm just going to kind of dump things in there. If I happen to see something that's rotting and probably contaminating the other food, maybe I'll take it out, but I am not going on a deep cleaning spree of my refrigerator right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even know. Like Chicken doesn't, I mean, if something's thawed out, it basically freezes in time. It'll last forever, so. Yeah. These have been in there forever, but this shit sucks. Okay, uh, this is frozen, but it's like open. Ooh, I forgot I have cookie butter ice cream. I have shrimp, which I could definitely eat. He has a, yeah, a lot of cake and cream. I saw him licking him earlier. It was so cute. Licking himself for 20 minutes. Why do I even get romaine? I don't even need This has been in here since I moved here. Oh! This expired like June 11th, I think. My hand can never go wrong. Green beans are definitely old. Oh, fresh! <laughs> Look at her fresh. Hello, Hello, fresh. fresh. Hello, fresh. <laughs> this has been in here for a month. I'll take this out. I don't even know I can pickle. pickles. Pickles, I don't fucking know what I'm gonna have. This is really squishy. I Squishy onion in the fridge. Cleaning out your fridge just shows like how you literally don't have shit to eat. Yeah, I'm just gonna briefly go through it. These expire. Yeah. Uh, definitely not Hello Fresh anymore. <laughs> it's gonna be Hello Stale. This shit could just don't do that later. At least I have food I can eat. And I already had a broccoli head and I. Oh, bought a new one. I got one. Oh, it's still fine too. Let me put a trash bag in my bathroom. A trash can. 
Okay guys, so it is late as hell. I'm not even gonna tell you what time it is because it's embarrassing. But I am in bed. I'm just about to start going to sleep. Um, I'm gonna turn off my little skylight. Oh, I just unplug it. Um, I kind of want to put oils in my diffuser, but I don't fucking feel like it. I'm good on that shit. Um, it's really bright in here still because my um, TV's on. I'm gonna turn it off in a little bit. But I did want to go ahead and close off this video because I'm gonna get ready to head to bed soon. But I really hope you guys enjoyed me vlogging my last two days. Let me know how you felt about it. Getting footage from two different days rather than trying to combine it all into one. And you know, different day, different vibe, different, you know, experiences. Yeah, um, I'm about to i'm tired i need to sleep so thankful i don't have to be up early tomorrow i've been sleeping through everything anyway i'm gonna wake up at 8 15 or 8 39 I'm gonna wake up at 9 i'll set an alarm for 8 30 just in case oh my charger it's over here with all that being said um it is severely late so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and close off this video i'm gonna plug in my chart i hope you all enjoyed it um it was nice to hang out with you guys for the last couple of days i had a really good day today that was my first time getting out and hanging out with a friend since i've been back in north carolina so that was really fun Ooh. actually not my first interaction mm, i'm tripping i've been out and about but i haven't seen karen in a minute so with all that being said you wanted to be up on me and then you don't want to whatever with all that being said i love you all so much thank you for watching to the end of this video if you did you guys mean so much to me you are wanted you are important you are loved and i will see you guys in my next video bye